Hi everyone, so this is the start of my new series. I'm going to be reviewing team fights over the past few, few days that I've had with my teammates, and I'm going to explain to you, talk to you through the thought processes, the ideas, the considerations, reflections after the fight has ended to hopefully improve your macro and your game sense as a player. All right, East. Yeah. Uh, I see people. I see Bard. So the first thing I like to do before any team fight starts is I like to try to identify the composition of the team. So that's why you hear me saying Bard. I mean, it makes sense to anybody why you would want to understand who you are versing before you verse them, because sometimes the matchup might not be in your favor. You might have to look for advantage. You're fighting a rogue. You need to play around stealth. You're fighting around a cleric. You can play around the heals. You're fighting around, uh, I don't know, barbarian. You got to watch for the send, wizard, it's the send, etc. Right. So getting the composition should be your first thing in any team fight. And thinking about when you have that composition, how are we going to beat this comp? On them? Yes, they have Wraith on yeah. them. Wraith is going yeah. onto them, Todd. Uh, this is kind of iffy. Last time I did this shit, I fucking died to Wraith on them. I was here. They're on the low ground. We can get height on them, Todd. So, if you just noticed what happened, it's not really much. You might think of it. Uh, Todd is playing Demon Lock. He pops his buffs and pops Team in form. But... What you need to understand is if your front line, right, this is the takeaway. If your front line is engaging, you must engage with your front line. It sounds really stupid. It sounds really dumb. It sounds like something you might know already, but just think about it for a second. Because a lot of times, right, you might not have a defined IGL and you'll be making different comms. Your front line and your team composition is going to determine when you fight. Just like when you're a Malphite in League of Legends alts, that's when the fight begins. Or your Maokai R's or, I don't know, or an alts or whatever, right? When your front line engages in the fight, you must also engage with your front line because your front line's whole idea is to kind of keep... Well, in this case, it's not really that, but... Let's say you're playing like wizard barbarian, right? Your barbarian goes in and creates space for your wizard and also does damage, just like how any tank in League of Legends does damage, right? He's a motherfucking demon! Player? Big props to Corruption for that play, but this really isn't a cleric thing. This can exist for wizard, ranger, whatever, right? When you're backline, which really isn't that strong, right? Okay, Cleric versus Slayer Fighter. In my build, my 10 spell support build, I probably don't beat that guy. If he's more geared. He wasn't that geared, spoiler alert. Um, but notice how Corruption, our bard, walked up to the Slayer Fighter as he was walking up to me, right? If he didn't, then I would be exposed in the backline and the Slayer Fighter would be on me. And then it's a race for Todd and Corruption to kill their backline and for him to kill me, right? It's not really optimal to have your Cleric die, so... Peeling your backline is very important, um, depending on your composition and whatnot. Go back, careful. Oh, what's happening? Yeah, are they dead? I think they're dead. Wait, Wait I don't know dead. where the wraith is going. It's over here. Cool, cool. Notice how I am sitting. Why am I sitting like this? I am sitting to watch the doorway in which we cleared into this room, right? Because the idea of whenever you find a team, you find their trail, you follow their trail, and you find the team. That is how it works 99% of the time in Dark and Darker. We have created a trail. Our trail is very easy to follow. A team can find us very easily. So it is safe to assume at some point the team will find our trail and path to where we are. That is basically how you find teams in Darker Darker. And this meta, third parties in it are fucking so rampant. Everybody is third partying in this game right now. You can easily get third partied. So I'm just being cognizant of our trail and watching for some kind of flank or push or creep on us, you know? Bro, whenever you fucking, you divine strike me, I bloodstain blade and I just have an- Oh, they're coming in from where we came from, West, coming in. Okay. Hard. above careful so in a lot of competitive games strategical games there's this concept of height and high ground 
these guys have high ground onto us. And look at where we have to go to get to their height. We have to go up a staircase. We got to walk on the staircase a weird way. And, you know, it's very awkward. So in this position, I kind of want to back up because there's really not any easy way for us to get to the team. Um, we could, in theory, poke at the low ground and the high ground but you'll see that their composition is barbarian wizard bard so they should in theory have more poke damage than us because we have bard and fighter or not fighter sorry warlock warlock curses and demon warlock do little damage bard does the same damage as their bard crossbow wizard is their carry like the wiz wizard is their anchor the one that skews the poke in their favor so i want to back off here and if we do try to push up onto their height, the Barbarian can drop right where Todd is right now and walk up onto the staircase, and they have an instant pincer basically on us. And she gets very hairy um, if that were to happen, in my opinion. So I'm going to back up. It's not really a good spot to fight, but you'll see how it ensues. Uh, this might be hard, Todd. The, the Barbarian's going to drop on us. We should go around the south, I think, right? Put the barb on him. Put the hydra on him. Okay. I think we should reposition Todd. Out, this is weak. Okay, yeah, we need to back up. We need to back up. I'm gonna sink here. Can we hold here? Can we hold here? So the first thing I want you to think about to yourselves is I'm gonna give you the team comp and think to yourselves how this should be played out. They are playing Bard, Barbarian, Wizard. We are playing Cleric, Warlock, Demon Warlock, and Bard. Think about it for a second and I'm gonna talk to you about something else. So the other thing I'm gonna talk to you about is when you're ever starting these fights, you want to be aware of third parties. Look at where we are on the map and ask yourself, are we going to get third party? Have we killed a lot of teams? Is this the last team? Are there more teams? Is this zone tight? Are we in the center of the map? Can people hear these fireballs? Can people come third party us? Whatever. Sometimes you might not have a choice. Sometimes you might just be forced into the fight as we are now. But luckily, in my opinion, this position we're in isn't really third partyable. We're very far, even out of zone, right? Which should be pretty impossible for people to find us in third party us. So going back to that team comp I told you about earlier, their team comp, in my opinion, they want to finish this fight early. They want to be quick with this fight. They want to end things fast. Whether that's killing me, killing Corruption, they're not really going to kill Todd quick because he's Demon Warlock. So they want to either kill me or Corruption really fast, right off the rip, so that they have that 2v3 and they just win the fight easy, right? Um, they also need to... My team also needs to make sure that I don't get dived because if they take me out at the beginning of the fight, basically, they win the fight. It's as simple as that. Um, they also, my teammates need to position themselves for heals. They need to make sure they're not behind or in front of the enemy or whatever, like blocking where the enemy is blocking me. They just need to be in range and in position my heals. Man, careful, go. Oh, careful, we're left. I'm slapping the shit of the barb. I think barb's dead. Is there? Barb's dead, I'm coming out, I'm coming out. Get there to kill me. I'm all in the fucking wizard. Get out, Bart. Bar Clear. What's got to do? Behind, behind, behind. Drop. I think dropping here was a misplay by me on this end because if I drop and the bard drops, uh, Todd might not be able to follow up on the bard. I just need to sit here and just lesser myself and then go melee. So make sure you're like you're not going too far from your front line as a back line because your front line might not be able to help you if you like if I like drop here or something. Or I should have threw, thrown a lesser to my Todd. I should be looking at the bard, see what the bard's doing. If the bard's off me, I just heal Todd and I pull out melee. Right now, by me not looking at the bard, I am making a misplay. So, definitely misplay on my end here. I'm dropping, I'm dropping, I'm dropping. Drop to me, Todd, drop to me. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Drop to me. Okay, I'm dead, I'm dead. Fuck. You can try to cook this guy. He's gonna go for help. He's gonna go for help, Trent. Nice, maybe. Good, you killed him, you killed him. Good shit, good shit, Good fucking shit. So, what did you think? Did you learn something? Did you learn nothing? Do you want a different perspective? Do you want more cleric oriented perspective? Do you want a more team fight oriented perspective? Let me know in the comments. Um, I will probably put more effort into like editing and stuff if the feedback is positive and if you guys want to see more but this is kind of just a general basis of kind of how i want to go i was planning to have on multiple team fights in here but i think one for now is good since we're nearing on 10 minutes for the video so appreciate you guys all watching thank you for support please share your feedback in the comments or my discord or whatever or my twitch just let me know thanks guys peace out